This is CBS 46 News. Developing tonight, it is opening day, but the MLB All-Star Game is what everyone is talking about. Truist Park is where it'll take place unless organizers give in to the growing calls to boycott Georgia. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. Thanks for staying with us, I'm Tracy Hutchins. Activists want organizers to move the game out of Georgia to send a message about the state's new voting rights law. CBS 46's Sierra Cummings is live at Truist Park tonight with a new fallout. Sierra? The text going around says not to support or purchase from businesses and they want their voices heard. That's why they're doing this quote old fashioned boycott tomorrow, April 2nd. The MLB All Star Game set to happen here now in the line of fire too, whether to move it as a consequence or keep it here and use it as a political advantage. From the state capital, we don't mind boycotting to the nations. This is Jim Crow on steroids, what they're doing in in Georgia. Calls against voter suppression grow louder by the day and come Friday, at least one boycott is set to be in effect. This text telling folks to let their buying power be the voice of outrage over SB 202. When you boycott these companies, you're boycotting jobs uh, for our communities. Delta is one of our largest employers in the state. Faith leaders saying today the boycott against Delta, Coca-Cola and Home Depot will only end after these demands are met. We will not bow, we will not break, we will not back up. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms calls the unintended consequences deeply concerning, even citing the economic impact on Georgia families if the MLB All-Star Game were to move. President Joe Biden instead suggesting, I would strongly support them doing that. The relocation makes sense. So many different angles we could Take. Atlanta Braves Freddie Freeman said voting rights could take center stage if the game were to stay. So why not use what we already have here in the platform in the city and the state that it's it's been passed through. So I think it'd be better to keep it and use a platform. While Republican leaders, including Governor Kemp, maintain the bill only improves election integrity, activists continue to call on businesses to denounce it as anything but. The National Human Rights Organization says next week they will hold a press conference to formally request for the All-Star Game to be moved. Around that same time, faith leaders will consider expanding this boycott to include AFLAC, Georgia Power, and UPS. Live in Atlanta, I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.